This question is about matrices and matrices transformations. Now, part A and part B, we talk about a right angle triangle T with these vertices 1, 1, 2, 1, and, and 2, 4. T is transformed by the matrix P and the image is uh, T prime. Work out the coordinates of T prime. Now, what you need to do is you take your matrix P. 0, 1, 1, and 0, and you multiply it by the matrix, the matrix that you form with the edges of these, with the vertices of these. So you multiply it by 1, 1 to represent A, 2, 1 to represent B, and 2, 4 to represent C. And you can do this because it's a 2 by 2 multiplied by a 2 by 4, uh, 2 by 3 even, and the twos are the same, so you will get a result in 2 by 3. So all you've got to do is multiply this out. 0 times 1 and 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 2 and 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 2 and 1 times 4 is uh, 4. 1 times 1 and 0 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 and 0 times 1 is 2. And 1 times 2 and 0 times 4 is actually 2. Now, it's very important you don't just write your answer like that. The examiner asked for the coordinates. This is just a matrix right now. So the coordinates, are, say A primed, where does A go? Well, that's 1, 1. Where does B go? Let's say B primed is 1, 2. And where does C go? C primed is 4, 2. You can't just leave that as it is. It's just a matrix. You have to reconvert it into the answer to the question. Now, it says, describe fully the transformation represented by P. Now, lots of students try and think about where the triangle T goes and to T prime. There's no need to do that. You have the matrix here. All you need to do is consider it in the most general terms. You have a matrix, and you just work out how the matrix affects uh, 1, 0, and how it affects... 0, 1, the way we always do it. Don't be confused by the fact you have to consider what happens to the triangle. You don't. Now, the first column of any matrix tells me where 1, 0 will go. So 1, 0 will now go to 0, 1 up here. Right? And the second column tells me where 0, 1 goes, and it goes to 1, 0, which is down here. Now, what matrix, uh, what uh, transformation swaps these around well, the only one that I can think of is uh, the reflection in the line y equals x. So the transformation is a reflection in line y is equal to x. Okay, then we are given matrices Q and R, and they represent two transformations. So, when T, the original triangle, is transformed by matrix QR, the image is T double prime. Find QR. It's just saying, take matrix Q and multiply it by matrix R in the order seen. So, all you have to do is 4, negative 2, 3, negative 1, and you're multiplying that by 1, 2, 3, 4. As simple as that. So, it's just a case of some matrix uh, multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, so you get negative 2 here. 4 times 2 is 8, negative 2 times 4 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3, negative 1 times 3 is zero. It is 3, so you get 0. And 3 times 2 is 6, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, so you get a 2 there. Simple for 2 marks. It's, it says find the determinant of QR. The determinant of QR... Well, the determinant is AD subtract BC. Now, do note, some students get confused and they think it's 1 over AD subtract BC. No, it isn't. This is the, the, the determinant. 1 over AD minus BC is just using the formula for the inverse. You use 1 over determinant. So here, all you've got to do is multiply AD, so AD, and then subtract BC. So it's clearly uh, negative 2 multiplied by 2, subtract 0, multiplied by 0, which is negative 4. Simple as that. And for part E, using your answer to part D, find the area of T prime primed. Well, let's just think what happens. We've got our triangle T, and we apply 
the matrix QR to it, and we get T prime prime. Now the matrix T, w w the original T, we should draw it is one one two one and two four. So let's just a quick sketch of it. It's one one, one across one up, two one, two across uh, one up, and two four, two across four up. So here's our original triangle T. Okay, one one. So this is one one, two one, two four. Now it's a right angle triangle, we're told. The width is clearly 1 and the height is clearly 3. So its area, original area, must be half the base times the height, which is a half times 1 times 3, which is 3 over 2. Okay? Now we should know this formula that the area of new shape, new transform shape, is the area of the old multiplied by the determinant of the matrix that transforms between new and old. Now the determinant of it, or the modulus of this, the positive of this, okay, the positive of that. Now the matrix QR has determinant 4, so or negative 4, and we take the positive of that, so basically it's telling us that we're enlarging by size 4. So therefore the area of T dot dot or prime prime must be 4 multiplied by 3 over 2 which is actually 6 units squared and that's it for your 3 marks